Praise God, child of God. I am out here in beautiful Navarre Beach this morning doing a moment in the Word. As, as the Lord spoke to my heart and said, take this moment in the Word and share it. Take it outside the four walls, whether it be a church, my apartment, wherever I'm shooting it at, and just let people hear the gospel being preached. And I'm down here on Navarre Beach, and whoever hears it, hears it. I pray they get set free. I, I pray that they'll They'll, they'll have a thirst and a hunger in them uh, to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Amen. Today's scripture is going to be sponsored by the book of Romans. And we're going to be in chapter 5. And we'll get, that to, to, we'll get to that in a moment. But I'm just, I'm so blessed to be able to stand here and share the gospel out in public. Unashamed, unintimidated, not scared of being persecuted, not scared of being arrested and jailed for it as Paul did so many times, and the other apostles, amen? So as we always do in a moment in a word, let's open up with prayer uh, right now, all right? Father God, we just come boldly into your throne room with the authority that you granted us through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord, we just uh, pray the anointing on your word will fall on hearts and ears be open to hear so that those who need to receive your word will receive it. And Lord, the seeds will be planted of, of you and all those that do hear it. And Lord, we just thank you in all things. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for healing us. We thank you for, for providing all of our needs this day and every day in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, I am opening up to the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 8. But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Yep, that's right. He died for those that are in sin. Jesus said he didn't come for the healthy or the wealthy, but he came for the sick and the broken and the poor. And, uh, and that's who he came for, you and me and people like us. But anybody can have him. When the Jews turned him away, he gave it to the Gentiles, which is us. Praise God. Pray, you know, he came to save us all from eternity of being tossed away into hell. Total darkness, separation of us from God is hell. Amen. So today I want you to just think about, um, just take a moment out and think about it. Christ came to die for us. You know, we just celebrated Christmas. The birth of Christ is what we we're supposed to celebrate. He came, took on robes of flesh and became a human being to save us. That was God manifested in the flesh. What greater gift is that? There is none. So Father God, you know, separated himself and became a human being starting out as a baby. He didn't come down here as a ruler and almighty and everything, but I'll tell you what, he's coming soon as a king and a ruler and a judge on that white steed as the book of Revelations describes. And right now we've got to get the word of God out into the streets. These young people out here, their number one complaint about not go, going to ch church is they don't get their hard answers to their hard questions. They don't get their questions answered by the church. They, they, they've got so many questions they want to ask. But then again, they're learning all this stuff on the Internet that's keeping them away from God. So we've got to claim that. We've got to take the word into the streets. And that's what a moment of the word is going to be doing. We're going to be taking the word into the streets and just shooting on location so that we can let people hear the gospel being preached. We can share, witness, and testify to those out here. Instead of just preaching to them and trying to do acts to work our way into heaven, we're just going to share the gospel, share the word, just as Jesus did, one-on-one, one-on-two. -on -one, if the multitudes come, they come. If they don't, they don't. But I want you right now, this day to consider your walk with Christ and where you're at with him. Did you celebrate the holiday or did you celebrate the baby, the man that came to set us free and to love us unconditionally? Amen. Where are you at with your walk in Christ? We're getting ready to start a brand new year, 2022, and people are making all kinds of New Year's resolutions. You know what? How about just giving your heart to Christ? How about just walking out your faith with Christ? How about coming into the kingdom of God through Christ? You know, just receive that he died and shed his blood for you. You know, Jesus said, if you want salvation, 
believe on me and sin no more. Repent, turn away from, and live your life for Christ. That's all. He died for you so that you could live for him. Amen? So today, on A Moment in the Word, I'm challenging you to just consider where you're at with your walk in Christ and to just fortify it. Build it up, okay? Lift Christ up in your life. Let your New Year's resolution this coming weekend, if you make them, I don't make them because I can't keep them. I don't know anybody that does keep them. But let your New Year's resolution with the new year commit your heart to Christ. Commit your actions and your faith to living for Christ. Amen. That's a New Year's resolution you can keep. All you have to do is walk it out in faith. Amen. So from a moment in the word on Navarre Beach, good morning. God bless you. Have a richly blessed day. You're in my prayers. If you have any prayer requests, send me a message uh, uh, through Facebook. I'll be happy to pray with you and stand in agreement with you. And if you just want to know who Christ is, message me. We'll discuss it. And wherever you're at, put Christ first. Amen. All right. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.